Hi, this is Juan Miguel from Spain, and I'm going to show you how to create a bone-based facial rigging like this one I have got here. This is my last character. It's a cartoon version of the main character of the Mirror's Edge game. You may know it. And Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you how it behaves. I I created this panel right here uh, with this series of controls that allow me to control every everything in the face of the character. As you can see, the mouth. This one is for controlling the sink. Narrow, wide shape, closed and open, and you can combine them. This one is to make a happy or sad face. This one's to show the upper and lower teeth. Uh, right here. Even to move the jaw left or right, and the tongue. I even created a tongue inside the mouth, as you see. Great, and to create all this, I was searching the internet uh, because I wanted to do all this with cat and 3ds max and uh, almost everything i found out there it was uh, tutorials for maya and so what i did is i i tried to learn how to do it in maya and then mm, find the proper techniques for 3ds max and uh, there were a couple of books and tutorials which were very helpful to me. Uh, this video here from It3D, it was really useful. It shows you how to do this same thing, but within, within Maya. And using bones too. And this book, Stop Staring, from Jason Osipa which helped me learning uh, about the shapes that I needed to achieve and uh, the proper face topology to make everything work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this explanation in, in, in three parts. The first one, I'm going to show you the dials you're going to have to work with and some features of uh, 3ds max and cat which will be uh, useful to create all this then I'm going to show you how to create uh, this control here for the mouse the one you will mainly use to create the illusion that the character is talking and I'll also show you how to read the eyes Eyes are a bit special because these controls here, they don't only control the eyes, but also affect the eyelids. But the eyelids uh, can also be affected separately with these ones here in the sides. So it's a bit more difficult and uh, they are probably the controls you will need more help with because they they also uh, involve using expressions and that might be a bit confusing so okay let's go with the next part